What is up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter and today we're talking about moving that kiln. So we have over the last like week we've really cleared out a lot. We've gotten rid of most of the glazes, moved those over to the new studio, we've gotten, we've fired a lot of random pots and yeah the final thing Basically the final thing out of this studio that we have to bring over to the new studio is this kiln. And a lot of people said, hey, I wanna see how you move that kiln up the stairs. So that's what this video is. We're moving this kiln all the way over to, it's like two and a half miles away to the new studio. So first we gotta unscrew the front. We gotta take all the pieces out and then we gotta just take piece by piece by piece over to the new studio. And we even have a brand new top for this one, because if you can see this, it's getting kinda not so good. So we gotta replace this, and we gotta move the whole kiln. So it comes apart in three different pieces, thank goodness, or I don't know if it would fit through the door. Also, it would be ridiculously heavy. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this off. Let's do it. First, we gotta unplug it. Got her unplugged. So I can't move this kiln by myself, so I need some help. Sam, can you help me? All right, so my friend Sam and I are gonna move uh, what will be one of probably tens of thousands of pounds of other things that we've moved in our lives. <laughs> we moved this kiln down here seven or eight years ago. We should know what we're doing. We should. <laughs> so it actually shouldn't be too heavy. Whoa! <laughs> we are gonna have to tip it, aren't we? All right, now we're headed to the house. Gotta put it in drive. <laughs> we have our seatbelts on, so nobody yell at us. <sighs> so we're just gonna quick talk about Sam and I's history because we have, it's an interesting story. We went to high school together, how long ago? 15 years ago? Yeah, 16. 16 years ago. Played basketball together. First we dated sisters. Sam was dating one sister, and then I started dating her older sister for like many years. Yeah, three, two, three. Two, three. <laughs> and then we dated best friends. We got to hang out all the time in high school because we were always dating like sisters or best friends. Then we both went to college, then we graduated college and I bought Mocha Monkey, and then Sam started working at Mocha Monkey, and now Sam manages all the Mocha Monkeys for me so that I can focus on making YouTube videos and pottery and fun, cool things like that. Wakeboarding. And wakeboarding. <laughs> um, and then a few years ago, I was dating EC, and at our wedding, Sam hit it off with EC's sister, Anna. And now they're married. <laughs> so now we locked ourselves into a relationship that we're gonna be family forever. So we pretty much work together. We are brother-in-laws. Anything else? Did I miss anything? I think that sums it up. It's all part of the plan. All part of the plan. And we've moved countless things like this kiln. Yeah. Probably moved more heavy things with Sam than anyone else in my life, that's for sure. Couches, fridges. Freezers, espresso machines, so many other things. <laughs> Dressers, tables, kilns, pottery, clay, equipment, boats. I think the last time I filmed myself in the car I was like driving in a snowstorm, so at least it's not that.
All right, friends. Oh, we got it moved. Whew, I'm hot and sweaty. So, got our new kiln in here. So we got kiln one and kiln two. Kiln one and kiln two, what kind of names are that? I need names for these kilns. So, what do you think? Comment below. Tell me what you think I should name these kilns. This is a kiln I've had forever. I fired this one like at least five, 600 times. It's uh, Old Faithful, maybe that's the name for it. This kiln I got in a last spring. Uh, this lady was selling all of her pottery stuff. So kiln, wheel, slab roller, pug mill. Uh, I bought all that stuff from her. And I actually wanna, I can't remember her name because I actually wanna name this kiln after her. I think that would be kinda cool. Comment below, tell me what I should name my kilns. But now what we're doing is we're gonna replace the top. Right away when I got this kiln, so you can see there's like, it was getting some cracks in there. So that basically happened like right when I got it and I like contacted Scott and I was like, hey, this is kind of weird. Like, I don't think there should be cracks in the top of a brand new kiln like that. And so they sent me a new one, which is right there. And I never put it on because this one, like the cracks didn't really get any worse, but now it's starting to chip, which I don't really like that. So plus it's just really discolored there and I have it. So I thought now would be a good time to do it. I'm gonna figure out how to do that right now. So shiny. I'm just gonna sit down. Whew, that was, that was a lot of work. But we did it. We got our kiln in. Boom! Kiln yet to be named. That was uh, an exciting adventure. So Scott, if you're watching this, I have a nice touch screen on this. This one, so, you know, if you got any touch screens laying around, I would take another one. It'd be nice to have. I really need names for them. That is it for this video. Shout out to my best friend, Sam. Thanks so much for helping me move this kiln. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed our little history story about how we met. Sam's been an awesome friend of mine. He's as good a friend as he is a manager, as good as he is, he's just a really great guy. And uh, I appreciate our friendship and I appreciate all the help he's given me on everything over the years, so. I, this video, I finally feel like I can be like kind of creative with the videos again. Like for a while I was like just so busy with everything. I was like, oh, I just gotta crank a video out, crank a video out. But now it's like, all right, I'm in, I'm, I'm in the studio. Anyway, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all those things. We'll see you in the next video. So